Marco Saavedra, an immigrant rights activist, recently had an asylum hearing at 26 Federal Plaza. As a prominent advocate for human rights, Saavedra is requesting asylum because he fears that he will face persecution if he's forced to return to Mexico. In the last year, 2019, uh, 19 activists have been killed in Mexico and 10 of them were from my home state of Oaxaca. Um, and we see a uh, 103 deaths every day in Mexico because of the drugs on war and the impunity that the cartels enjoy in Mexico. So this this will this continues in my home country. If Marco is sent back to Mexico, he will be persecuted. He will be tortured and possibly killed because of his political opinions defending immigrant rights in Mexico. It's a dangerous uh, dangerous thing in Mexico. And it's, there's no rule of law and he will have no protection from the state of Mexico. Marco has been living in the United States for 26 years. He and his family have been transparent about being undocumented and have established themselves as a staple in the South Bronx with their Oaxacan restaurant, La Morada. The restaurant was closed the day of Marco's hearing as the family stood by him surrounded by supporters. I know this is my home. Um, this is my family. This is my community. Um, and we're here to put up a big fight. Regardless of what happens, we're going to stay together as a family. So if you want the best mole to stick around, the best Oaxacan food, the best tacos, according to Thrillis and Michelin, and all that good stuff, yes, served in the South Bronx, then let's make sure to support Marcos. We are indigenous, and this is our land. We are Americans, and Marco deserves to be here. This is his home. And please tell everyone out there, we need support. And it's also for all these politicians that they knock on those doors when they need volunteers, when they need organizers, we there. And I don't see anyone here today supporting Marco. I don't see anyone from the city council. I don't see anyone that have been in the Morada eating the delicious food in here. I only see activists and religious leaders. Marco and supporters marched in solidarity to his hearing at 26 Federal Plaza. The results of his asylum status are yet to be decided. La Morada posted this message to their social media, stating that attorneys must submit final statements. They expect to hear a verdict by January 2020. Marco and family request the continued support of the community and elected officials at this time. We also have to hold our own elected officials accountable because they can't just uh, uh, cater to the Latino vote every four years and then not uh, not follow up. Reporting for Bronxnet, Sanji Lopez.